this is where we're developing Europe's largest fully vertically integrated battery gigafactory. The electric vehicle industry is facing a major challenge, how to create a battery that can deliver high performance, long range, fast charging, low cost and environmental sustainability. These are the key factors that determine the attractiveness and competitiveness of electric vehicles, as well as the satisfaction and convenience of the customers. However, creating a battery that can excel in all these aspects is not an easy task, and it requires a lot of innovation and research. Many companies have been working hard to develop a battery that can meet these criteria, and there are a lot of promising candidates in the market. One of them is Northvolt, a leading EV battery manufacturer which has just revealed its new battery technology. Join us as we discuss how Northvolt's breakthrough battery will end China's battery monopoly. Northvolt is a Swedish company that started in 2016 in Stockholm with a vision to create a greener future by producing batteries that are sustainable, high quality, and affordable. The company has pioneered a unique model for battery manufacturing that minimizes the environmental impact and maximizes the social benefit of its operations. The company has also forged strong partnerships with some of the leading customers in the automotive and energy sectors, such as BMW, Fluence, Scania, Volvo Cars, and Volkswagen Group. These customers have shown their trust and confidence in the company's products and services by placing orders with over $55 billion for Northvolt's batteries. The company company is currently supplying batteries from its first gigafactory, Northvolt Et, located in Skelleftia, Sweden. Northvolt Et is one of the largest and most advanced battery factories in the world with a planned annual capacity of 40 gigawatt hours by 2024. The factory is powered by 100% renewable energy such as wind and hydro and uses state-of-the-art technology and automation to ensure high efficiency and quality. The factory also recycles the materials used in battery production, such as lithium, nickel, and cobalt, reducing waste and emissions. The factory is also designed to be a hub for innovation and education, where researchers, engineers, and students can collaborate and learn from each other. Northvolt Et is not just a factory, but a community that is dedicated to creating the best batteries for the planet. The company also operates a research and development and industrialization campus, Northvolt Labs, in Vostra. Sweden. Northvolt Labs is a center of excellence and cooperation. The company explores and experiments with new battery technologies and solutions. The campus features a pilot production line where the company produces small batches of batteries for testing and validation. The campus also has a test center where the company evaluates the performance and safety of its batteries under various conditions. The campus also has a recycling facility where the company recovers. It reuses the materials from the used batteries, reducing waste and emissions. The campus also has a customer co-creation center where the company collaborates with its customers to design and develop customized battery solutions for their specific need. The campus also hosts over 5,000 employees from various backgrounds and disciplines who work together to drive the battery revolution. Northvolt is not only active in Sweden, but also in other countries where it has expanded its presence and activities. The company's established joint ventures, subsidiaries, and offices in countries such as Germany, Norway, Poland, Portugal, the U.S., and Canada to serve the local markets and customers and to access the best talent and resources. The company has partnered with some of the leading players in the automotive and energy sectors, such as BMW, Fluence, Scania, Volvo Cars, and Volkswagen Group, who have placed orders worth over $55 billion for Northvolt's batteries. The company aims to become a global leader in the battery industry and contribute to the transition to a low-carbon economy and society. Now, Northvolt has just unveiled a new cutting-edge sodium-ion battery that could revolutionize the field of energy storage systems across the world. The battery does not use any lithium, cobalt, or nickel, which are common materials in most batteries, but are also scarce and expensive and often associated with environmental and social issues. The battery uses sodium, which is more abundant and cheaper material that is widely available in most regions of the world. The battery also offers a cost-effective and sustainable alternative to conventional chemistries that rely on scarce and expensive materials. The battery has a high energy density and a long cycle life and can be used for various applications such as electric vehicles, grid storage, and backup power. The battery is also compatible with existing battery infrastructure and equipment, 
and can be easily integrated with existing systems. The battery is also designed to be safe and stable and can withstand high temperatures and voltages without causing thermal runaway. The battery is a breakthrough product that could change the landscape of the energy storage industry and enable a cleaner and more efficient energy system. Energy storage systems are vital for integrating renewable energy sources such as solar and wind into the power grid as they can smooth out the variations in supply and demand. They can also offer backup power in case of blackouts or emergencies. Batteries are the most widely used energy storage devices, but they still have a lot of room for improvement before we can consider them the most reliable and efficient. Northvolt's new battery technology aims to change that. Sodium atoms have one electron in their outermost shell, which they can easily lose or gain to form positive or negative ions. These ions can flow between the electrodes of the battery during charging and discharging, generating an electric current. Sodium ion batteries have made remarkable progress in the past year as companies look to diversify away from lithium, which is facing soaring costs and supply shortages. Sodium ion batteries have improved their stability and energy capabilities, making them more competitive and attractive for various applications. However, sodium ion batteries also have some drawbacks such as lower energy density and poorer cycling stability. These are mainly due to the larger size and heavier weight of sodium atoms compared to lithium atoms, which make them more difficult to fit into the electrode materials and cause more structural damage during charging and discharging. Five years ago, Min Ali, a Stanford University postdoctoral scholar, said something about sodium ion batteries' challenges. He said, the layered metal oxides have shown limited cycle stability and air sensitivity, and the polyamide anions only delivered a moderate energy density, mainly because of the bigger size of sodium cation compared to lithium cation. Further research is required to get better sodium host materials with higher energy and better stability. A lot has changed since then. Researchers have made breakthroughs in developing new electrode materials and electrolytes that can enhance the performance and durability of sodium ion batteries. Some of these innovations include Prussian white, a compound of iron, sodium, and cyanide that can accommodate sodium ions in its lattice and achieve high energy density and long cycle life, and sodium glass, a solid state electrolyte that can inhibit dentrite formation and improve safety. These advances have caught the eye of the International Energy Agency, which tracks the progress of clean energy technologies. Laura Coetzee, Director of Sustainability at the agency, told Energy Monitor, a sister site to Power Technology, this month, some clean technologies have moved up the innovation ladder. One example is batteries based on sodium. Until a year ago, it was mostly lithium. Now we know that sodium can play a role. Northvolt's current sodium ion batteries are designed for use in energy storage for now, as they can balance the fluctuations in supply and demand of renewable energy sources such as solar and wind. They can also provide backup power in case of blackouts or emergencies. However, the company is working on improving the energy density of its sodium ion batteries, which is the amount of energy that a battery can store per unit of mass or volume. The company aims to increase the energy density of its sodium ion batteries so that they can eventually be used in electric vehicles, which require high power and long range. The company plans to be the first to mass produce and commercialize sodium ion batteries and bring them to the global market. The company has already demonstrated the feasibility and potential of its sodium ion battery technology by achieving a remarkable energy density over 160 watt hours per kilogram at its research and development facility, Northvolt Labs, in Sweden. This means that the battery can store more energy per unit of mass than most other sodium ion batteries in the market, which have an average energy density of around 100 watt hours per kilogram. To put this in perspective, the energy density of a typical lithium ion battery is around 250 watt hours per kilogram, which is still higher than that of a sodium ion battery, but is also more expensive and problematic. Energy density is a key factor that determines the performance and suitability of a battery for different applications. It is important for applications that require high power and long duration, such as electric vehicles, grid scale storage, and portable electronics. A higher energy density means that a battery can provide more energy for a longer time 
time or that a smaller and lighter battery can provide the same amount of energy as a larger and heavier one. A higher energy density also means that a battery can have a longer range and a shorter charging time, which are crucial for the convenience and satisfaction of the customers. Northbolt's sodium-ion battery has impressed outside experts who said that Northbolt has gone further than many Chinese competitors such as CATL, the world's largest battery maker. CATL and other Chinese companies use oxides containing metals such as nickel, cobalt, or manganese in their sodium-ion batteries. These metals make the batteries more costly and less safe as they could catch fire at lower temperatures, posing a risk of fire and explosion. Northvolt's sodium-ion battery, on the other hand, uses Prussian blue, a pigment that was first used in the 18th century to make blue paint. Prussian blue has a unique property. It can host sodium ions in its lattice and enable the charge and discharge of the battery. The potential of Prussian blue for batteries was first discovered by John Goodenough, a Nobel Chemistry Prize winner who is also known as the father of lithium-ion batteries. Northvolt is hoping to provide the first samples of its sodium-ion battery to customers next year and to reach full-scale production by the end of the decade. The company plans to build new factories alongside the four factories it is currently planned to produce the lithium-ion batteries for vehicles. The company aims to become the first company outside China to have a sodium-ion product validated for energy storage and to bring it to the global market. It is quite key to be the first ex-China player to have a sodium-ion product validated for energy storage, said Lola Hughes, research manager at battery consultancy Row Motion. However, she also said that the success of sodium-ion batteries would depend on several factors, such as the price of lithium batteries, which has fallen in recent months, and the speed of scaling up the new technology. She said that sodium-ion batteries would have to compete with lithium-ion batteries, which are still the dominant technology in the market, and that they would have to prove their performance and reliability in various applications and conditions. She said that sodium-ion batteries have a lot of potential, but also a lot of challenges. Investors are less enthusiastic than last year, and some of the future development of the sodium ion supply chain may be delayed or even canceled, she said of the Chinese groups producing sodium ion batteries. The low lithium price has made the cost-benefit for sodium ion less evident, she added. The Swedish group holds the view that relying on the price of lithium as a benchmark is unreliable due to its frequent and unpredictable fluctuations. According to Mr. Carlson, sodium ion batteries are anticipated to be approximately 25% more cost effective than the lithium batteries commonly employed in energy storage. It's noteworthy that lithium batteries, in turn, are already more economical than the batteries utilized in electric cars. Moreover, he emphasized that the strategic substitution of graphite with hard carbon not only contributes to a more sustainable sodium ion battery, but also mitigates its carbon footprint. This innovative approach not only aligns with environmental considerations, but also positions the new sodium ion battery to withstand heat exposure up to three times more effective than conventional lithium batteries. This dual advantage of cost-effectiveness and enhanced resilience makes sodium-ion batteries a compelling and environmentally conscious choice for the future of energy storage solutions. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.